down, down, down. Da, da, da. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my first YouTube tutorial ever. I'm doing this because a lot of people on TikTok and Instagram have asked me how to do the effect in the video that you just saw. I do it in After Effects, but I am by no means an expert. I've only taught myself from YouTube videos just like you guys are probably doing right now. So if there's any way to do it more efficiently, please let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna show you how I did it. Okay, so I have After Effects open. I have the file that I'm going to be using imported and I'm first just going to drag it down here. And now I want to find the spot in which I'm going to freeze the body part or my face, whatever you're going to use. Let's say I wanna freeze my face right at this part of the video. So I drag the cursor to right there. I duplicate this file. And now I make sure the top one is clicked, not the bottom one. I make sure the top one is clicked. I click the pen tool and I'm just going to quickly or slowly, however detailed you want. I'm just doing it fast right now so we can, none of you guys don't have to wait here for too long, but I'm going to outline my head, okay? Whatever, it's not perfect, but it will be good enough for this video. Okay, I outlined my head. now. Don't move this cursor at all. You need it right there. The next thing you're gonna do is go to layer, time, freeze frame. Okay, now this entire clip is frozen on that frame. The next thing you're going to do is make sure it's still clicked and you don't have that one clicked. Make sure the top one's clicked. You're gonna do control shift D and it splits the track right there, okay? So I have my face frozen over here. I have my face frozen over here. Um, now for that video that I showed you in the beginning, you're going to want to delete this top file, the frame that's frozen over here. You don't want it anymore. You're going to delete it. Boom. Gone. And now you're left with the effect. Here it goes. Boom. Just like that. Now for the second video, watch the second video first. All the girls are on me. Damn. Everybody pay attention. So for that video, you're going to want to delete this file right here. You're going to want to delete that frozen face. So I click it, I delete, and now here we go. Boom. Just like that. Okay, so that's that for people that think they can go on by themselves. Um, I'll continue for those that want to learn a little bit more about how to make this better. There's something called feathering. So in the first video I showed you, I didn't do any feathering at all. It's completely raw. It makes it look like this face is actually just a sticker stuck on the video. But what you can do is you go to that file, you go to mask, uh, you click down right there. And then here it says, it says mask feather. Bring that up to maybe seven to 10 or so. And you can see that around the edges of my face, it's blended it in a little bit. So here, let's toggle back and forth. So there it, there it is without it, it has hard edges. And there it is with it, it has soft edges. So when you're using multiple images, that'll help keep things blended. Let's do another face real quick to show you what it's like. So say I wanna do a face right there as well. So I click the bottom one, I duplicate it again. I'm gonna hide this top one for a second. Um, I go back to the pen tool. I make my outline of the head. I go to layer, time, freeze frame. I duplicate it. I delete the one that I don't want. And there we go. Let me feather it first. I go to mask, mask feather, seven, boom. Okay, and now there's my second face right there. Uh, I did a bad job cropping, but whatever, there it is. Let me unhide the other face. Okay, so now I've got two faces. Now, the problem here is that one goes, and then the next one goes behind it. If you want it in front of it, all you have to do is drag the one the one that you want in front, you make it at the top. Boom, there it is. I just dragged it. It was down here. I just dragged it up there. Boom, boom, 
boom, and then you can keep doing that forever and ever. I think that's enough of that. I think that's everything. All right, thanks, guys. Please subscribe. I'm hoping to make a lot more longer YouTube videos later rather than uh, just TikToks and Instagrams, although I love both of them, but I will be making longer YouTube videos in the future. All right, thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe, said like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe to my YouTube and my Insta, and maybe to my Twitter, like, and